Okay, so um, let's look at neurons a little more closely. Neurons are very interesting. When you think of a cell, neurons are cells, but if you think of a cell, you think of something rounded, right? You think of something oval, spherical. Neurons are very unusual in that they have um, rather distinct morphology or shape. Um, that, and, and there's actually a great diversity of neuronal morphology or shape. Um, it turns out you have neurons that are enormously tiny, right? Um, uh, that to fit 100 billion um, you know, in your brain, you're going to need you know, uh, uh, to have them to be very, very small. However, there are still neurons that are extremely large. So, for example, in the frontal lobe, and we'll learn more about lobes as the course continues, but the frontal chunk of brain tissue up here, uh, the outer surface, the cortex, there are neurons whose cell bodies, the site of protein synthesis, um, you know, the site of the nucleus and the DNA, are located here, and yet the axon, which we'll talk about in just a moment, the sort of process that you know, extends away from the cell body and carries that electrical message, the wire actually extends all the way down you know, to the base of your spinal cord. Um, and so these neurons are you know, potentially three feet long, um, and in a giraffe, you know, they could be you know, 10 feet long. Uh, they could be a lot longer. Um, so let's look a little more closely at neurons. While there's a great diversity of shape, um, there are some basic kind of functional divisions uh, you know, that are consistent you know, for most neurons, most sensory you know, uh, interneurons and motor neurons. Um, so this is a close-up of a neuron here. Um, you'll note that there's a, the nucleus that's identified here. This is the nucleus is the cell body, the site of the cell body. It's inside the cell body. The cell body has a has a, a fancy name. It's called the soma, and this is the site of protein synthesis because it's the location of the genetic material. Where remember the process of transcription, you know, to form the messenger RNA, and translation, the, you know, taking that messenger RNA and generating the specific protein is carried out, and a lot of activities that are important for cell maintenance occur. Um, Projecting off the cell body are these this is this great diversity of uh, like sort of tree-like extensions, right? And again, I want you to think about even these tree-like extensions, these dendrites essentially, are surrounded by phospholipid bilayer, as is the soma, right? And as will be the axon, you know, that projects away. Um, so there's a skin, right, a membrane that surrounds this, and the membrane is going to be embedded with specialized proteins, as we discussed, right? Uh, the dendrites, you should know, are actually the site of receipt for the chemical messages that are traveling across the synapse. So um, basically, um, when a neuron's electrical message reaches the end, which will be the axon, you know, there's going to be a translation of that electrical message into the chemical release of that neurotransmitter, and then it's going to influence you know, the, the function of the next neuron generally at the dendrites. Um, now, so the dendrites are sort of receiving chemical messages, right, at synapses. The cell body, you know, the information is going to, it'll turn out, will pass through the cell body. Um, and then leading, lead, uh, leaving from the cell body is a long process. Again, it can be, you know, relatively short in the parts of the central nervous system, but it can also be extremely long. This can go extend in a giraffe again, like up to 10 feet. Um, and this is the, uh, the process, the axon, that's going to conduct electrical signals away from the cell body. So what I want you to remember here is that there's a sort of directionality of information, right? Information flow in the form of current is going to go you know, from dendrite through soma through axon. Um, and this is you know, my attempt to draw you know, a neuron here. Um, here again are our dendrites sticking off the end. Here's our soma or cell body with the with the nucleus, right, and the site of genetic material, and here is the axon that extends all the way down. At the end of the axon, we refer to the axon terminal. This is where this translation process from the electrical message that's going to travel along this axon into the release of a chemical at the synapse will occur.